Good morning, church family. Good morning, friends tuning in uh, uh, Facebook Live this morning. We're glad that you can uh, join us for a prayer meeting. I know it's early, but praise God that uh, you're able to tune in this morning and as we gather for worship and for prayer meeting. So we're thankful that you can join us as we stand in the gap for each other, for our church family, and for our nation. Amen. Wherever you are this morning, uh, whether you're at home, on your way to work, or on the roads, may God bless you and uh, keep you today. Amen. Sua 
and to tell, to tell one of my toes, he's CEO of my soul, Lima. Malinoto of the Taya to oil to my Lene Taya. Lene Taya Bo. Wamato Moa. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. For you have allowed us to wake up this morning. You have brought us here into the sanctuary. May you be glorified. In your name, Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, church family. Y'all may be seated. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Tayama Nuiya. Got a crowd here. Amen. Good morning, Facebook family. All those who are tuning in with us this morning, we welcome you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As we go into a short encouragement this morning, open our hearts. Just maybe five to ten minutes of your time this morning for an encouragement, not only for myself, but for all of us here and those who are tuning in. Amen? My encouragement this morning is found in the book of Galatians 6, verse 9. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And it reads, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. We will reap a what, church? A harvest if we do not give up. Excuse me. Awa ne tato fa pal pala ile a mio le lei. Awa ono po et tatao ya tato te sele sele mai be a fai tato te le fa a vai vai. Be a fai be a fai le tato wa fa a vai vai. If we do not give up, my encouragement this morning or my sharing titles, hold on. Do not give up and keep fighting. Hold on, do not give up and keep fighting. Taufi mau, awa le fa'avai vai, te awa le fiungo fie, e ye e tawi vipea. Amen? Amen, church. Amen. We are only in the second month of this year, 2021 the second month, and many of us have faced many hardships. Many of us have gone through many storms in these two months, from maybe a loss of a job, loss of a relationship, a broken marriage, Broken families, stressing on issues that are out of our control, physically and financially broken or struggling, an issue of a loved one that we have lost. I can go on and on, but with any of these situations, it seems like the only thing to do is give up. Maybe throw in the towel. Are you that someone this morning? Have you given up? Have you stopped fighting? Have you let go? Are you tired of struggling? Are you depressed because of your situation? Whatever it may be. Even with this pandemic, COVID-19, it caused fear in so many people. I'm not gonna stand here and say I, I wasn't scared. I was scared because people were dying left and right. Things were happening right before our eyes. Everything that's been mentioned in the Bible, it's happening now, amen? We question our faith. We 
wo o maya o e ma u le fefe ma le masa le salo and to tell on a ta ua ta ua us christian us believers and to tell on a ta ua ta o fi mau le ta ua fatu o tua ma tell it tony ya yesu kriso a wa o na o ya lava na te lava in a mai o e ma u email lo to tupu ile ne yo langa only god only God can grab you. Only God can give you that strength that you need. That you need to be lifted up each day or whatever struggling that you face. This verse, let us not become weary in doing good. Let's not, let us not get tired of doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up, amen? amen. Sometimes God allows us to go through these hardships, amen? Amen, church, amen, family, internet family. Sometimes God allows us to go through these hardships. God is testing our faith. God wants to see where your trust is. Is your trust in man, your husband, your sister, your mom? Your trust should be in God because only he provide, only he can give you that strength to move on day to day, amen? God wants us to keep fighting. When we face different situation, circumstances that come our way, God wants you and I to keep fighting because greater is he, greater is he that is in me, that is in you, than he that is out in the world. God wants you, church. God wants you, brothers and sister, family. Keep fighting, hold on, and do not give up. Satan is out there to destroy, because Satan only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen? God does not want us to let Satan overpower you. God does not want you to give up that fight. Isaiah 40 verse 31 tells us, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their, they will soar in wings like eagles. They will run and not get weary or tired, right? They will walk and not faint, amen. Our strength is renewed each day, so why give up? Why not hold on? Because God is on your side. God is on my side. Amen? There are many stories mentioned in the Bible of those who did not give up, those who kept fighting. One of them is Job. Everyone knows the story about Job. Amen? Job was one of them. God allowed Satan to test Job to test his faith. Job went through so much, but he did not waver. Even the loss of his children, his body covered with different sickness, Job did not give up. He kept fighting. He held on to his faith. He knew that God was gonna be right there, right along him and to help him through. Amen, church? Job just kept fighting. Another person in the, mentioned in the Bible is the woman with the issue of blood. Amen? That story is found in Mark 5, verse 25 to 35. It said for 12 years that this woman suffered the sickness. 12 long years. She did not give up. She kept fighting. She kept her faith. When she heard the news that Jesus was coming into town, she fought her way into the crowd. All she wanted to do was to touch the hem of his garment. She did not give up. She kept her faith. She kept fighting and she found her way through that crowd or fought her way to touch the hem of his garment and she was saved. How about you and I this morning? Boa lava to lango lo ofeanga yai oi maau. 
o a f a i n g a t a e o o mai a t a u a e f i n g a ngalo le a t u a i a t a t a u a t u m a u le t a t o f a t u a t u a i a t e i a amen t a t o t a o fi mau awa le f i u ngo f i e awa le fa a vai vai mai i a t a u a t a u i v i p e a keep fighting keep holding on don't let go no matter what circumstance we face what we go through in life you wake up in the morning and that is a blessing because god allowed you to wake up and if you think of your struggle from the day before you're going to carry that struggle on through that day but at, as you wake up each morning thank you lord for waking me up lord help me throughout this day whatever comes my way my strength comes from you My peace comes from you. Don't give up, church. Keep fighting. Do not let go. Let us become weary. Let us not become weary. Let us not become tired in doing good. For at the proper time, you, will, you and I will reap a harvest if we do not let go. Don't let go, church. Don't let go. Hold on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are feeling tired and lonely this morning, if you are going through pain and struggle, health issues, if you are feeling depressed, if you feel like giving up and throwing in that towel, I am here to remind you that Jesus wants you to hold on. He is walking right alongside you, holding your hand. Don't let go. Hold on to that hand. It is that hand that's going to guide you through your day, your year, your month. It is his strength that gives us the strength to carry on. Keep fighting, church. Do not let go. And just hold on to Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this encouragement. Father, we just ask that you just help us. Help us, Lord, to hold on. Help us to not let go. Help us to keep fighting this fight. We are all in this race together, Father. But it's up to us individually to fight. Fight with knowing who is on our side. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Thank you this morning, Father God, for this encouragement. We pray for blessings over each and every one of us. In your name, Jesus, amen. Praise the Lord. As we go into our, our prayer this morning, um, this morning, remember Pastor David and Tina and Lisa. Manatua Uma Tina Matama Matua Tato Ekalesia. All our children who are doing virtual schooling at home and those who may have gone back to school, our children in college, our children in the armed forces, our son AJ in Samoa, different departments of the ministries in our church, the leaderships that are in those ministries, that God will give them a vision to move forward for 2021. Amen. Let's remember our, those who are sick, Brother Mark, Brother Boa, Brother Paul, Brother Bradley, Sister Bella that are going through dialysis for, for God to give them the strength and to hold on and to keep fighting. Let Tamaya Api and Sister Joy, Pastor Awa who is fighting COVID, we're trusting and believing God will intervene healing over his body special request prayers for sister soa solaita letinaya ivy gale letinaya sa ano tinaya rosie matavao pastor yata and isadora many prayers for those who we may not know and those who are tuning in if you have a prayer request please type that in and we will remember you all in prayer Prayer for those who have lost a loved one, those who are going through, through the celebration of a loved one, for God to give them comfort and peace and to have, have them or help them hold on. Thank you, Lord. 
We'll go into prayer at this time. We'll ask the worship team to take us into a, a short chorus here. And we'll just pray together. One heart. Thank you, Lord.
We give you glory, honor, and praise for who you are in our lives. We thank you for this morning that you have awakened us. Thank you for bringing each and every one of us here. Father, we pray for our pastor and Pastor David and Lisa, Father, for your leadership, for the vision that you have put in their heart. It will come through, Father, according to your will and not ours. Bless them with good health, Father. Anoint them as they lead and teach and preach and encourage our church family, Father. May you have favor over their family. Father, we pray for our church, each and every one of them. Tinama, Tamama, Tua. You know them by name, Father. Those who are going through dialysis, those who are fighting diabetes, Father. You know them all by name, Lord. Whatever struggles that they face through in each day, Father, you are there to help them, to give them the strength, Father. We pray for our children, Father. Those who are in virtual in school and those who are also virtual learning from home, Father. Our children in the armed forces, AJ and Samoa, our other children who are in colleges, Father. May you lead and guide and protect them, Father. Help them to make good choices, Father. And letting them know who you are in their lives. Father, we pray, Father, every sickness, every illness. Those who we may not know, those who are tuning in, who are not feeling well, whatever the reason may be, Father, only through you, healing in your name, Jesus, the blood that was flowed from Calvary, the blood that covers, the blood that heals, the blood that forgives, the blood that gives us strength each day. We thank you, Father. All the prayer requests that was announced or listed father you know them all by name what they are going through we pray that you cover them father with your healing by your stripes that they are healed physically financially spiritually father whatever needs father that they have that you have covered them father we ask that you forgive us for whatever sins things that we have done that was displeasing in your eyes your sight father that you wash it all of the blood of Jesus, that you forgive us, Father, relationship with each other, a brother and sister, relationship between a parent and a children, relationship between our parents, but most of all and importantly, Father, our relationship with you, Father, that you forgive us, Father, for all the things that we have said, done wrong in your sight. Lord, I pray that whatever we go, wherever we go today, we pray for guidance, protection, Father, throughout the day today, whatever we will be doing. But let us keep in mind, Father, that you are there with us, traveling with us, wherever we go, places we visit, Father, that you are there right alongside us. Help us, Father, to hold on. Help us not to let go. And help us to keep fighting the race, Father, that one day, Father, we will be crowned with the crown of glory if we keep holding on, if we keep fighting, Father, and to not let go, not to give up. But we ask that you be with us throughout our day today. Bless each and every one of us. Bless our worship and band, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. I pray all these things in your name, Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many of you are happy today? Amen. Happy? <laughs> Pastor, any announcements would you, that you have? Oh, remind everyone. Yes, you out there. Sunday school at 9 o'clock. And also it's Valentine. You can bring me a rose. No. I'll wait for my husband to do that. But tomorrow, 9 a.m., Sunday school. Thank you all for coming in this morning, for waking up early. Amen. Although it's cold outside, but the Holy Spirit warms us up. Amen. Well, I ask our worship team to take us into the song that's been on my mind all week. Hallelujah. Anyhow, no matter what comes our way, lift our hands and say. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Anyhow. Hallelujah. Let's stay, everybody. Troubles come your way. Lift your head up high and say, Hallelujah.